everyone welcome to my channel today i will be talking about managing uh, visual interactions in power bi uh, suppose you have a power bi page which consists of multiple visuals so by default those visuals will will interact with each other so that's why we call it as interactive dashboard right so today i will be showing you how to manage the interactions between the visuals let me first show you a page that i have created uh, with few visuals for example, if you select a particular portion of any of the visual, you will see the remaining visuals are also changing accordingly. So if you select, for example, here I have selected high order priority, uh, this particular segment and the remaining visuals are showing data related to high priority that has been selected from this donut chart. But these two visuals, they are highlighting the data. Line chart is basically filtering getting filtered based on this uh, selection of this data now this will happen for each and every visual by default so if i select technology i will see the remaining visuals are also getting filtered or getting showing the data as highlighting if i select storage from here i will see again the remaining visuals are changing if you select any slicer value if i select critical i'll see the all the visuals are changing so this is how it works by default but sometimes you might get the requirement where probably the users they do not want the visuals to interact as per the default setup so for example uh, if i select order priority any value from order priority slicer i don't want this donut chart to get filtered i do, i want the donut chart should show the data as it is with all the four values irrespective of the value selected from this order priority slicer so how can i do that or for example if you select any particular portion from this donut chart i don't want this two visuals the top and this bottom these two visuals i don't want this to show the data as highlight i want this data to show as filter another example when i select any value from this visual i don't want this line graph to interact at all so how can i control all these things so to do that what you have to do is for example let me start with this so my requirement is when i select any value from this slicer i don't want this donut chart to change at all so what i have to do is i will select this then i will go to format and then i will hit edit interactions the moment i click edit interactions right you will see this icons are appearing for each visual so my requirement is now when i select this this one should not react so by default you can see filter is selected and i will change this to none so the moment i change this to none and again let's select this the moment again you select it all those icons will disappear so now let me just test how it works so when i select critical as you can see here this is not changing even though i select any value from this slicer this uh, donut chart should not change now my next requirement is uh, for example when i select any value from this donut chart i don't want the bottom this visualization to show the data as highlight i want this to show the data as filter so to achieve that again i have to select this donut chart since i'm passing the value from the donut chart i have to select it then i will go to again format and edit interaction and then see here by default highlight is selected so there are three options first one is filter second one is highlight third one is none so by default highlight is selected i will change it to filter and then again let me hit edit interactions and it will go away so now let me test this so when i select medium as you can see here now it is uh, no more highlighting the data it is getting filtered by the value that has been selected from this donut chart so likewise for example i have another requirement i don't want when i select any value from this visual i don't want this line graph to change so for that again what i have to do is i will uh, i will select this visual i will go to format edit interaction and i by default it is selected as filter i will change this to none again go back and it will work accordingly so let me select see it is not changing even though i'm selecting values it's not changing so likewise you can manage the edit interactions between the visuals also if you are planning to obtain the pl300 certification edit interaction is a very important topic make sure that you have gained adequate knowledge on this particular one so that's all for today thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye